Take out that UAV. Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty with a road to dark matter. And this title's dark matter is a bit strange. It's not quite the same as what we're used to because generally when you get the penultimate, the next to the last camo, then dark matter is dropped on all the weapons. It's not that this year. You've got one more challenge for each weapon to get to dark matter. I decided to do the launchers first. So you have to get every single weapon to diamond first and then to dark spine and then the dark matter challenges open for you and what are the challenges for the he1 launcher well you've got to basically gack a bunch of people so there you go you start out with two kills for the granite camo you go to the woodland just increasing kills you can kind of quick scope people with this weapon it's a slow scope but almost like a quick scope and to get to gold you have to do three destructions of a score streak or vehicle in a single match. And this was the very difficult challenge for me to complete because the maps I was playing on, and I did a lot of Nuketown, a lot of Hardpoint, and I'd recommend Hardpoint for this, people weren't putting up score streaks. So the things in the air counted, but there's no lock-on with this weapon. So UAVs are quite difficult to shoot down. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. I'm about 15% successful at shooting down the ones I aim at. You can also do things like shoot SAM, shoot turrets, shoot the RCD. I got a few of those that helped out. Moving on to diamond, you have to get three kills in a single match 10 times. This was very easy. Like I said, quick scoping, pick out a small map, hold up a corner if you want, a lane, whatever, hit the person. I think it took two games to get this one done, about five per game, 15 kills with it, very easy. The next is maybe the toughest challenge in all of Dark Matter, and that is kill five vehicles in a single match match the same as the diamond in terms of what vehicles you can use three times and it took me forever to do this and then the dark matter challenge very easy get five kills in a single match three times with the he-1 so there it is it's easy to get the kills on people more difficult to get the kills on streaks hopefully people put out turrets the rcd comes right for you that sort of thing it's all about cod time so let's see how Grandpa did going to Dark Matter with the HE-1. Let's go. All right, let's get moving. You can see I've already got some of the kills done here. And it's just kills. It's not direct hits. There's a difference between the two. Read what the camo requirement is and you'll get it right. Of course, if you see that red cross, it's always a good one. You're always sure that you got the kill. Now, if you stand there ads like that, it's going to be difficult to tell whether it's friend or foe. So I like the medium scope, not quick scope, not slow scope, kind of medium scope, like that one right there. I didn't get the red cross, but it counted because I got the kill. That one counted too. Red cross is always best. I think I got somebody behind that lady, actually, that nice lady with the multicolored hair. Of course, you don't want to die every time. It's perverse kind of camo because... Well, I'll talk about that in just a second. There's a red cross. You're sure you get the GAC. 50 kills, just rage. Small map, ideal. And pull the trigger, you get three shots. I'd also carry ammo. One thing to consider, and I highly recommend it when you get to shooting down streaks, is to use the recon perk. Ghost, Engineer, Vigilance, that gives you the recon specialty, and with that you'll be able to see the enemy's streaks, whether it's on the ground, an RCD, or a turret, or in the air, anything. The helicopters are very easy to shoot down. You'll also be able to find the UAVs, and you can have a go at them. With that announcement completed, let's move on. Now we're looking for direct hits so the Red Cross helps. I've already gotten those. You can see by the camo I'm wearing. And now we're looking for streak slash equipment. And it's important to note the difference. If it says equipment, you can gack equipment and it counts. If it says streaks, you can only get streaks. 
Now with UAVs, it's a hit or miss. <laughs> that was a lucky one. Grandpa almost fell out of the chair. Now with choppers, it's good to put a couple of bullets in them. Don't put too much in them. Aim for the fat part of the chopper. Eyes on Watchdog Hilo. And you're more likely to hit it. That counted, so there's a streak down. It's not a difficult challenge here. You see Grandpa put a bunch of bullets in. Now he's going to try to gack it with the HE1. Boom. Go for the fat part. And try not to hit when it's moving because it's more difficult. So another UAV will go for that. You got to aim ahead of it. And then watch where it goes because you can see how it missed. And that way you can adjust your aim. And there we go. We got it. Sometimes it took me three to get one UAV. Sometimes all three didn't get any UAVs. There it is again. It has to be off the screen when you pull the trigger, and it went uh, right at it. So there's another gag. Going for gold here. That's three streaks or vehicles in a single match ten times. That went below it, so I'm going to aim a little above it this time. And it's close to me, so it doesn't have to be as far off the screen. I get gacked, but I also swatted that fly. And there's the gold camo. That was the last one. Now we just need for the diamond three kills in a single match ten times. This is probably the easiest one to get. It's not direct hits. It's kills. But you can see I'm getting direct hits with the medium scope. That person, somebody else got her. There's another direct hit. There's a medium scope. Almost a quick scope. Grandpa's just raging. And then once again, he's on a small map for this one. If you got to kill folks, stay on the small map. Don't be afraid to wait till you see them, then kind of quick scope it. There's somebody sniffing their feet. Grandpa rewards them. There's an elimination there. So I think it took two or maybe three. There he is sniffing his feet again. Has not learned his lesson. Direct hit to the head. Oh, there's a bunch of guys. I think I got all three of them. And there's the diamond there. Next comes the dark spy camo. Five streaks or vehicles, not equipment, so it doesn't help to kill equipment this time. Aim for the fat spot. There's one hit. Up, oh, they got it. And by the way, if you only assist, it doesn't count. So this was the most difficult of the dark spine camo challenges. I've gotten them all completed. This was the most difficult one for me to get because people just don't put streaks up. Try to use hard point for this. There we go. First try. That's always a blessing to get those. Aim for the fat part of the helicopter. And that was a miss. So adjust it down to the fat part. And Grandpa got it down the choppers. He got down. Perversely, like I said, you want the other team to be doing really good because you want a lot of streaks in the air. I went four, five, six games sometimes, and nobody would put a streak up. Also, those streaks count too, like the scrapping the missile thing, and there's the chopper. One of my buddies put it down, or I put it down. One of my buddies wounded it. Hostile counter UAV engaging. There we go. We're off the screen. See how we did. I just know I missed it. I couldn't see going into the sun. So I'm going to aim a little higher since it's going at an angle. Bang. We swatted it. It's all in one match. I never shot down one of those. It takes two hits to get that thing. I just threw off one anyway. Hard point locked down. Assault pack available. Hostiles have captured the hard point. Hard point there secure. we go. There's one up there. UAV identified. Have your volume up so you can hear what's going on in the game. Every time they put one up, boom. It doesn't matter whether you get gacked 
you need to get that thing down because it's going to take a while. And there I turned on my recording after I got the last one, Dark Spine. And now I'm going for the Dark Matter camo. Again, it's an easy one. You just have to gag people. Five kills in a single match three times. It doesn't say direct hits. It's five kills. So that was an easy peasy one to get. And I think that's it. There it is. Dark matter completed for the HE1. Wasn't all that difficult, but it wasn't easy either. You know, a couple of challenges. And now I can rage with a compact and try to get my dark matter on that. Hey, listen, thanks for joining me. A like and subscribe is appreciated. It helps me, helps the family. See ya on the rest of the grind here. We got it going. Loving Black Ops 6. Cheers and peace to you. Locking down Charlie.